Wow, look at this. Costa Rica is so beautiful. Good morning. Sorry, I am impressed of Costa Rica because I am very proud. Estoy muy orgullosa de Costa Rica. My name is teacher Marianela. And today, Andres, we have a great class. Oh, yes, teacher, very nice. Well, how do you feel today? Are you great? Excellent. How are you today? Andres, Andres, Sara, Sofia, Esmeralda, Charlotte. Hi, how are you? I hope you enjoyed the class. Call all your family, mother, sister, brother, your grandma, las abuelitas que también están viendo Aprendo en Casa. Let's start with the English class and let's start with a video of UNICEF. Let's pay attention about the beautiful speech Paola talks. Let's go. Hey guys, how are you? I dream that one day I can go far from Costa Rica and give a speech about how beautiful our country is. I'm even rehearsing it right now. You want to listen? Okay. Friends of the world, I want to talk to you today about a little paradise called Costa Rica. It is a country of hardworking people that live their lives Pura vida. We love making new friends and we are also a country that does not have an army. So we are thought about the importance of peacing's birth. We are 5 million people and we have people from a lot of ethnicities of African descent, whites, indigenous, mestizos, and we all love and respect each other. It is important that you know that our country protects and respects nature. I recommend Monte Verde, the Caribbean and Pacific beaches, and the national parks. You can see a lot in a few days because our country is small. You can go from the Pacific Ocean to the Caribbean in just a few hours. You see, it is Super important to learn because just like me, you can also tell others about the wonders that our country has. See you later. Bye. Goodbye, Paola, and dream, dream, dream. Hay que soñar. I'm very proud about Costa Rica, Andrés. Did you listen to Paola's speech? ¿Escucharon el discurso de Paola? There are many reasons why we have to be very proud about Costa Rica. Do you remember what Paola mentioned? Let's see the presentation about three aspects Fa Paola talks about. Let's see, Andrés. Well, Paola talks about our natural beauty. Ah, oh, look how beautiful, remember? The flora, the fauna, uh-huh. Then she talks about our cultural diversity. Many people from different countries. We have African people and we have many, many, many people. Then, our freedom and peace. Costa Rica is famous for its peace. Very nice. Costa Rica, pura vida. 
Hi, very nice. Costa Rica, pura vida. So you have to be very proud about Costa Rica. Debemos de sentirnos muy orgullosos de Costa Rica. Today, Andrés, we are going to talk about natural beauties, of course, but we are going to practice two skills, reading and writing, okay? It's important. Bring your notebook. Traiganse en el cuaderno el lápiz y lapicero, your pen or pencil. Okay, Andrés, do you remember what's the topic for today? Yes, teacher, Costa Rica beauties. Okay, very good. And remember that last class, we have studied flora and fauna. Oh, yes, teacher, and we describe, very good, we describe natural uh, beauties and national parks. Let's watch a video of a student and remember, what's your favorite national park and how do you describe? Let's watch. Hi, my name is Hila Rulat. I'm a student in the Aurora Area School. Cocos Island is an island located in the Pacific Ocean in the province of Punta Arenas. On October 11, 2002, the government of Costa Rica declared Cocos Island as a historical architectural patrimony of Costa Rica. There are 150 species of birds. There are 235 species of plants and great variety of insects. Its water abound with white fin sharks, giant hammerhead sharks, tuna, parfish, and rays. Coco Island is a beautiful place. Andres, did you listen? Coco Island, another reason why to be very proud. Coco Island is a patrimony, it's something, it's a symbol, right? Good. Well, I have the riddle. Oh, teacher, yes, but pay attention, okay? Listen because I have no pictures. No vamos a poner eh, imágenes. Just listen. Okay, teacher, okay. It's a national symbol. It has many colors. It has decoration and it is made of wood. Okay, teacher. Well, do you know? No. Okay, do you know? No? Don't worry. Pay attention to the class. And at the end, we will see the answer. Okay, Andres? Okay. Now, let's start with goal number one. In fair meaning of words. Teacher, yes? What's unfair? Mm, do you know what is unfair? No? Okay, let me explain. It's to conclude something that is not written. Algo que no está escrito. And you have to think about it. Did you get? No. Did you get? No? Okay, let's see an example. Let's see the presentation with an e example of inferring. Pay attention, huh? Let's read. Vamos a leer. He is Stephen. He was born in 2010. How old is he? Teacher, ahí no dice cuántos años tiene. No? But you have to read. You have to conclude what, how old is Stephen. And how do you know? Read. ¿Cómo lo saben? Leamos otra vez. He was born in 2010. How, okay, teacher. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, oh yes, teacher. I know the answer. How old is he? Yes, Stephen is 10 years old. We don't have the information, but you can infer because you have 2010. Oh, teacher, let's see another example. Oh, 
Okay, let's read. The cat meows. Meow. Because he is hungry. What does the cat need? Oh, teacher. Let's read again. The cat meows because he is hungry. What does the cat need? Oh, teacher. Tiene hambre. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, teacher. I know. I know what's the answer. The cat meows because he needs food. Yes. You see? Great job. We don't have the information, but we have an idea that oh, the cat is hungry. So he needs mm, food. Oh, yes, teacher. So it's like, si no está escrito, yo lo adivino. Okay, yes, but you have to read, okay? Let's go to the practice, okay? Let's have a text, okay? We are going to see a presentation and we are going to infer. Let's go to the presentation. Okay, I love Costa Rica, it's the title, okay? Let's read, Andres. Come and see the natural beauty of Costa Rica with a rich diversity of natural beauty and suffered wildlife. Costa Rica has a proud Latin American heritage and a culture that expresses both warmth and hospitality. Costa Rica has become the tourist center for nature lovers and adventurers alike. Attracting more than 3 million tourists every year, we have so many reasons for you to come and see our virgin beaches, meandering rivers, magnificent rainforest, panoramic vistas, and incredible wildlife. Costa Rica is now a favorite getaway. We hope, hope to see you soon. Okay, Andres, did you understand all the words? ¿Entendiste todas las palabras? No, teacher. Okay. At home, did you understand all the words? You are going to underline. Van a subrayar las palabras que no saben el significado. Okay, teacher. Wait. Okay. Underline the words you don't understand. Very good, Andrés. Now, let's see the meaning. Vamos a ver el significado. Superb is like excellent. Okay, teacher. Proud is feeling of satisfaction. Heritage, property that is inherited. Warmth, comfortable emotion. Nature lovers, a person who loves nature like me, I love. Mandarin rivers, following a winding course. Magnificent, extravagant, extremely, or beautiful is something wow. Panoramic, picture with a wide view. Getaway, an, an escape, vacation. Okay, now that we have the meaning of the vocabulary, we have the text. Mm -hmm. Did you understand? Now we are going to infer with the text. Vamos a inferir en este texto. We are going to have an exercise of true or false. You are going to write t, the T if it is true or the F if it is false. Let's read the sentences. Costa Rica is visited by less than 2 million tourists every day, every year, sorry. Number two, Costa Rica has an extraordinary richness in flora and fauna. Number three, there is one reason why tourists come to Costa Rica. Let's have the reading again. Vamos a leer el texto nuevamente. Pongan atención and read. 
Come and see the natural beauty of Costa Rica with a rich diversity of natural beauty and super wildlife. Costa Rica has a proud Latin American heritage and a culture that expresses both warmth and hospitality. Costa Rica has become the tourist center of nature lovers and adventures alike attracting more than 3 million tourists every year. We have so many reasons for you to come and see our virgin beaches, meandering rivers, magnificent rainforests, panoramic vistas, and incredible wildlife. Costa Rica is now a favorite getaway. We have to see you again. Okay, let's see. Right, true, or false? Let's see number one. Costa Rica is visited by less than two million tourists every year. Our teacher is false. Yes, can we return to the text, please? Okay, yes, it says that Costa Rica uh, for two million, right? But it says, let's read, vamos a leer. It says, attracting more than three million. So, let's go to the exercise. It says Costa Rica is visited by less, mm -mm, no less, more than three million. Very good. Let's see number two. Costa Rica has an extraordinary richness in flora and fauna. Yes, it is true. Yes, teacher, because in all the text, it talks about the beauties of Costa Rica. Yes, all the text mentions how beautiful and rich is Costa Rica. Very good. Let's see number three. There is one reason tourists come to Costa Rica. Can we return to the text? Let's see that in the text we have, uh -huh, we have, it says, attracting more than 3 million tourists every year. We have many reasons, muchas razones, right? Let's go to the exercise. And it says that there is one reason, no teacher, one reason, no. Right, we have many reasons why we have to be proud. Brilliant, very good. It's difficult, right? Yes, teacher, it's not easy, but you have to practice, practice, and practice. And you have to read a lot. Hay que leer mucho. And we are going to practice. Now, let's move to the goal number two. Short pieces of writing. Do you like to write? Copiar? No. Write is like um, we create. You use your imagination and you write like a story, right? Okay, today we are going to write a descriptive paragraph. Uh -huh. And we use adjectives. Adjectives are very important. Let's watch a video and let's pay attention about what an adjective is. Adjectives. Describing words. Words that describe the quality of a person, animal, place or thing are called adjectives. Words for numbers, colors, size and shape are also adjectives. For example, smart boy, green parrot, big hall, round ball, one hen and two chicks. So, we see that words used to describe quality, color, size, 
shape and number are called adjectives do you remember what's an adjective andres do you remember it's a word that describes a person an animal a place do you remember andres an adjective about costa rica yes teacher beautiful small exuberant very nice well with the adjectives we can write descriptive text and today we are going to talk about the ox cart ox cart ah oscar no ox cart do you know what it's an ox cart no teacher let's watch a video pay attention and Pay attention about the adjectives. Listen, Andres. Hello, everybody. My name is Eva Segura. I came from Benjamin Herrera School. Today, I'm going to talk about the typical Oscar. It is beautiful. It has a lot of decoration, like flowers, animals, and landscapes. Also, you can see many colors. For example, red, yellow, green, blue, orange, and white. It is, it is made of wood. I hope you can see it someday. Goodbye to all of you, and goodbye, Teacher Marinella. Do you like ox cards? Yes, ox cards are beautiful. Thank you and goodbye. Did you listen to some adjectives, Andres? Yes, teacher, the colors, red, orange, blue, very nice. Now, do you know what is an ox card, right? Now, let's watch another video about an ox card. And Andres, and you, take notes because you are going to write a text. Sit down here, Andres. And let's watch the video. Hi, how are they? My name is Jancip Harvey Obregón. I am a student of Republican Paraguay School. Today I am talking about of the Oscar. It has a lot of color. Green, blue, yellow, red, pink, purple, brown, black, it's made of wood. It has decoration. It can big or small. Bye. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Very good. Andres, did you pay attention? Did you pay attention? Did you listen to the adjectives? Colors? What? The, the Oscar is made of wood? The decoration? Okay, take notes. You are going to write a text about the ox cart. Okay? You are going to write it down. Okay? Write. Andres, write your text. I give you some minutes. Okay? Teacher, teacher, yes, Andres. Ah! Oh. I write my text. Okay, let's see Andres' text. Okay, teacher, I want to read. Yo lo leo, yo lo leo. Okay, Andres. The title is Colorful and Beautiful Ox Cart. Ah, okay. The ox cart is beautiful. It is a national symbol of Costa Rica. It has colorful flowers. It has long and short lines. Ah, very nice, Andres. Brilliant. Good. Did you see Andres' text? What adjectives, Andres? Oh, yes, teacher. Beautiful. Okay. Colorful. Okay. Very good. And colors. You have homework for next class. Tienen una tarea. You are going to write a descriptive text. Van a escribir un texto descriptivo about the ox cart. And also, 
You can write about whatever you want. Lo que quieran escribir. Use the adjectives. OK? Andres? Homework. OK, good. Let's see the indicators. We are going to check the indicators. Let's see what we learned. Teacher, I want to read. OK, I can infer meaning of vocabulary and key phrases in text. Oh, teacher, difficult. Yes, but you have to practice. Infer meaning. I can produce short pieces of writing. Oh, yes, teacher, I write my text. Yes, Andres, escribiste tu texto. Very good. Well, now we have the answer of the riddle, right? Do you know the answer of the riddle? It has a lot of colors. It could be big or small, and it has a lot of colors. What's the answer? What's the answer? <gasps> it's, yes, look, it's an, oh, let's move here, an ox card. Yes, goodbye. My name is teacher Marianela, and see you next class. Look at the ox card. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.